Hello and welcome to Bomber TV, Craig Rouston speaking. It's been almost 70 days since the boys played their last game against West Coast and Subiaco on September 1. Well, today they start their pre-season training. They're doing strength, agility and skin fold testing inside. And uh, so let's go inside and catch up with the boys and see how they've come back, see what sort of condition they're in. Hi, we're joined by high performance manager John Quinn to run us through what's happening here today. John, first day back in training, what, are, what, what do you do with the boys to start? It's always a shock to the system for them and for us. Uh, the coaches have been flat out here for the last uh, six weeks or more, just planning and, uh, and cross checking. We're ready to go, so it's good to finally have the players in here. Uh, today is really about testing, see where they're at. So they're doing a bit of medical screening with the docs and the physio. Um, and with us, they're doing performance testing. So what you've seen this morning, just basic uh, skin fold and weight. Uh, we've been doing a jumping test and in a little while they're going to do a running test. And do you just look at them physically to see what sort of shape they've come back in as well? Can you tell who's been training harder in the off-season? Uh, yes, yes. Um, and it's a worry when you can tell straight away they haven't been doing much, but there's not too many of them there that uh, we need to do some work on. And uh, look, they were told before they went on the break that uh, our expectation of what they'd come back in, and uh, pretty much they're in that sort of shape. So it's looking OK. And speak us through each of those main tests you do. You said there's a strength and a speed and skin folds. Tell us about what you do with those ones. Yeah, it's not all done on the one day. Like, we'll spread them out over the week, so we'll look at uh, their speed over 5, 10, 20. We'll look at their agility. Uh, so we can have a look then at um, whether they prefer one side over another, like left over right, uh, which is probably more important if they hurt an ankle or a knee during the year, and then we can compare and see if they're back to uh, pre-injury levels. Uh, we do what we call a phosphate test, so it's like repeated effort, and just see where their lactate abilities are. Uh, we'll do an endurance test, so we'll take them down to Princess Park, do a 3.2k run there. Um, they're doing a jumping test down there now, as we've said. We've done skin fold and body weight. Uh, and they'll do strength tests in here next week. And the skin fold and body weight's already been done, has it? Yes. And generally speaking, are you fairly happy with yes, the condition? Yes, yeah. No, no, very happy. You know, they've had eight weeks off, and uh, you know, we don't want them to be angels really while they're away and live on uh, celery and uh, water. Um, so, look, they've come back in pretty good shape, and uh, the whole idea of an off-season is to have a break from training, and uh, I'm certainly not uh, wanting them to, to work themselves into a frenzy in the break, but now that they're back... We've got a, a window of opportunity now in our pre-season to get them in the shape we need. And it's a bit different today as well because a lot of the players are meeting the coaches and uh, there's a new nutrition person for the first time. Can yeah. you speak us through the, no, the no. situation? Yeah, it's a very uh, different feel around the club. There's a certain vibrancy and that's not to suggest we haven't had that in the past. I mean, last year was a very positive start too to the year. Um, but I think when you bring in uh, uh, three different coaching uh, people that uh, you know generally aren't that well known by the players uh, and they come in with... Uh, Oh, you know, high expectations as well. I think that helps. It's not a dietitian. We've got our nutritionist guy in. Uh, uh, Johan Billsborough is our uh, nutritionist here, and I think he's uh, the best in the in the competition. So I wasn't going to let him go. We had him last year, but we do have a rehabilitation uh, specialist in now. And Mark Chira, he's actually down there right now looking after a few of our boys who are coming off operations and things, so they're in the last stage of their rehab. Uh, so Mark Chira is a new uh, uh, hands-on deck too, which I think is a really good asset to us. And uh, some, some of the guys, uh, a few of them had their seasons finished early. Mm -hmm. uh, and look, Alan Davey, for example, and, and, and Courtney Dempsey with his hamstring. Well, Alan with his arm. How are those boys yeah, going? Well, uh, we'll start with Davey. I was really... Uh, uh, we were aiming to have Davey ready. If, if we were to make the finals, he would have been ready for the first one, and we would have been able to fulfil that promise. Um, so he's certainly right now. He's ready to go, and uh, he just can't wait to get into the end of the season. Um, Dempsey, he's uh, just had recurrent hamstrings last year, and we just said to him, look, you've got to get yourself into a, this level of fitness. This is where you've got to go. And uh, between Joel Hocking, our fitness coach, and myself, I reckon we've seen Courtney Dempsey uh, six days a week for the whole of the break. Uh, he's been outstanding. If there was a prize for the best off-season trainer, he wins it hands down. He's worked and worked and worked. So. Another one, Leroy Jetta. I've, mm. I've seen him in the gym a fair bit in the off-season. Uh, how's, he, how's he going? Well, Jetta, pre-season now to when he came in as a, a new player last year, two different types of people. I think he understands what, it, uh, what he needs to do now to make it, and uh, he's uh, quite ripped, actually. He's uh, very lean, um, so skin folds are right down, body weight right up. 
uh, yeah, we're expecting pretty good things from him this year. I think, uh, you know, with Dempsey, uh, Jetter and Davey coming into the side fully fit, um, you know, who knows what we can get. Tom Hislop uh, tasted senior footy but uh, hurt himself. Was it a foot injury in the end? Well, he ended up having a couple of things. He had the foot uh, and a uh, uh, shoulder Rico done. They're just a bit of a uh, tidy up. Uh, so he's in the final stages of his rehab and he's probably three weeks away from resuming full-on training. I've got about four players that have had operations, like uh, Jason Johnson's another one. He's had an operation. He's just in the, the latter stages of the rehab on that now. So uh, we're aiming, and I reckon we're being generous to ourselves, we're aiming for um, uh, Christmas. By the time the Christmas break comes, they'll be ready to go. But uh, in all sincerity, I, I would think it's going to be more like the 1st of December they'll be ready to go. Who are the other two guys who aren't quite ready to go? You said Jason Johnson. Yeah. On his slope, who are the other two? Yeah, we've got well, we've actually got a couple of uh, guys there. Uh, Jay Nagel, we're still going steady uh, with Jay with his um, uh, stress fracture that he had. Um, we've talked about Jason Johnson. Semi Lonigan's coming off his knee quite well, so we're just going steady with those guys. Uh, Love at Murray, you might recall he had a groin operation last year, so uh, again we're just going steady with him. You know, these guys have got enormous workload over the course of this year. Um, we are expecting a, a lift from our whole playing list, uh, so we're mindful of the fact that we've got to manage these players properly, and it starts from day one. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining no us. No worries. Pleasure. Seven point four. That's it. Forty seven point six. Moving the map. Forty seven point four. We're joined by Essendon excitement machine, Leroy Jetta, second year player. Leroy, we've just been speaking to um, some of the staff here and they were saying that you're one of the guys in the off-season who have been training really hard. What yeah. have you been doing? What's your training regime been in the off-season? Uh, I just got a program from Quinny and Joel just to stick with over the break and um, yeah, I've been following it pretty closely, so yeah, and it's been working pretty well. And how do you feel this year compared to last year? Yeah, I feel great. My skinny's are 53. This time last year they were like 80-something, so yeah, everything's going well. And have you got goals for yourself this year? Last year you had four games. Is there, are you hoping to add to them or what are the goals this year? Um, um, the goal is for me really is just to have a good pre-season, keep fit and yeah, injury free during the year and hopefully I can get a few games. And uh, your groin injury was the one that caused you most trouble, How, how's that feeling now? Yeah, it's been about eight weeks since operation and everything's going well and starting running today so it should be good. Right, good luck in the season. No worries, thank you. 44.9. 44.9. Lifted your foot again before you took off. That's it. Thank you. 